It was at the cross where Jesus died that the future of humanity was secured forever. And this took place at Calvary. The Bible says, and when they were come to the place that is called Calvary, there they crucified him. It is also referred to as Golgotha. Both carry the same meaning. Golgotha is Aramaic, whereas Calvary has Latin origins, both meaning the place of the skull, referring to the hill where Jesus' execution took place. Today, there are several competing claims as to where this is. There is a church of the Holy Sepulcher, but that's located inside the city. Then there is a place near the garden tomb located just outside the Damascus Gate. And there is another location near the Lion's Gate. So much happened at the cross of significance, beginning with Jesus' walk there, made to carry his own cross, but due to having not eaten or drank for a few days, he fell under its weight. Simon of Cyrene was watching in the crowd and he was forced to carry the cross, a task he didn't volunteer for, but one he was forever grateful that he was able to do. Reaching the top of the hill, the prisoners were nailed to the cross. Normally the soldiers would have to hold them down, but this time with Jesus it was different. He willingly held out his arms and let them put nails in his hands and into his feet. Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do, was all his lips uttered, a far cry from the cursing that they were used to. As the cross was lifted up and violently thrust into the ground, Pilate wrote an inscription to put it on the top of the cross. Jesus of Nazareth, the King of the Jews. As Jesus hung on the cross, he was bitterly mocked by those who were there, who goaded him into coming down from the cross if he was really the Messiah. He was mocked by the priests. He was mocked by those who passed by and he was mocked by one of the thieves. The other thief though didn't mock him and famously asked the question, Lord, when you come again, remember me. And Jesus promised that he would. As Jesus looked out over the crowd, he saw John and his mother standing there. And he turned to his mother and said, Mother, look after John. Then he turns to John and says, John, look after my mother. In spite of the pain that he was experiencing, physical, emotional and spiritual pain. He took time to care for his mother. As Jesus hung upon the cross and felt the weight of the world's sin upon his shoulders, he felt the separation from his father as he looked up to heaven and only saw darkness. All the forces of evil were assembled at the cross, hoping that Jesus would fail in his mission of salvation. And as he began to feel the pain of separation, as darkness enshrouded the cross, he cried out, Eloi, Eloi, lama sabachthani, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Jesus was not going to die just a physical death, but rather an eternal death that would separate him from the Father forever. Jesus then cried out, it is finished. Father, into your hands I commend my spirit. Jesus did not die from the pain of the nails in his hands. He died from a broken heart, a heart broken by the separation that sin brings from his father, a heart broken under the weight of the world's sin, a heart broken by your sin and mine. Jesus was the only one who could save humanity. And today we can experience true new life, healing, peace and freedom because Jesus made the ultimate sacrifice. The song says, at the cross, at the cross where I first saw the light and the burden of my heart rolled away. It's at the cross where we see the ultimate gift of love in action. It's also at the cross where we see the true spirit of Satan and we see the contrast between love and hate. 
May we be moved by the sacrifice of Jesus for us. May we put away everything that separates us from Jesus. The Bible says, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believes on him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Choose Jesus today and give him your heart.